Here we go again. Save it. Save it. Welcome back, everybody. Today, I got a new workflow pack out. It's going to be on the GitHub and it's up on Save it. So we got Thoda for 3.5 pH, the Thoda pack. Save it. Say that with a mouthful of jelly. And what we've got in there is we've got a bunch of basic workflows. They're all text to image at the moment, but they're showing you how to make FB16 with FB8 T5XXL so you can fit it onto a smaller card. And then we've also got my Zenkai version. Okay. So basically basic with Zenkai random prompt. We've also got the turbo model. All right. Which is FP16 plus FP8 T5XXL again. And then I've given a Zenkai version of that again. And then finally, we got the Thoda Simple, which is the combined checkpoint with uh, the clip in the weights. And that's all in FP8. So that's going to fit onto, I think, 8 gig. But you guys are going to have to tell me how you get on. Um, so you got the GitHub link to the custom nodes here, because I've used a couple of my aspect size. I've used the project file path node. Um, but if we take a look at the actual article, Save it, save it. The article here has the default workflow from Comfy Anonymous image at the top. And then I've used that as a comparison point. So if you take a look at this image here, we've used the same seed. Save it. Okay. So this one is the 3.5 large FP16 with T5XXL clip in FP8. Reason is because the large model is 16 gigabytes. And so if you use the nine gigabyte T5XXL in FP16, that's going to be like 32 gigabytes or something. So, or no, it's not. It's going to be like 26. And then there's a clip G, which is another gigabyte and a bit. So 28. Anyway, you won't fit it onto a 24 gig 4090. So, it's, you know, here it is. If you're using in the cloud, obviously you can go for full fat, but we have to do some savings. Um, so this would be, this would be the first demonstration there we go and then we've got the fp8 scaled so this is the combined checkpoint using fp8 and fp8 same seed all these are the same seed all right save so it you can see the difference between this image this image and this image because we're going down in accuracy yeah now this is fp8 fp8 right and then here we have the turbo version which is also, no, it's not. It's actually FP16, I believe. I made a typo there. Uh, but I'll have to double check that. Save it. Let's have a look. So if we take a look at the checkpoints, large turbo does not say FP8. So that tells me it's probably FP16. You can check on Hugging Face to be sure, but I'm pretty certain. Let's have a look at the size. Yeah, it's the same size. So it is FP16. I'll edit and change that. <laughs> so as you can see on my PC here, I've got large, large FP8 scaled and large turbo. So I took all three. And then for the clips, I've got clip G, clip L, FP8. Now this is the one that we use with Flux. Save I it. did pick up the new one because if you check the size, it is different. If it's different, that means it's not the same. <laughs> I know that sounds obvious, but a lot of people will probably try to get away with using this and it may work but it came with a new one, which is underscore scaled. So I'm going to be using that one. Save it for the FP8 E4 M3 FN version. Now, if you have in the cloud, you can just go ahead and use the FP16. It's not really a big deal. As long as you've got like a 48 gigabyte card or basically higher, whatever, higher than 24. So that is where they go. They go in models clip and they go in models checkpoints. Now, I have explained all of that here. I skipped past it so we could just sort of look at the pictures. There's a link to the workflows. See that? You've got clip L, clip G, T5XXL. And then here is the FP8 E4 M3 FN scaled version, right? See and then for the weights, you've got the large, the turbo. There's the recommended settings for the turbo, which are in the workflow. Um, and then you've got... Comfy Org has provided us a combined FP8 checkpoint, which has got all the clip models, like most regular checkpoints. Um, and so that one is obviously the last one we looked at. So that one is 3.5 large FP8. All right, cool. And then I have also included a link to the VAE, even though it's actually inside the checkpoints, 
Sometimes people want it separately. So that's where it is. Okay. Save it. Leave. That's just examples there now. So this is a page which is purely about how to get it set up and running. So you don't have to mess about. Hopefully they don't change the links like they did last time. Well, it wasn't actually stability, to be fair. Or comfy. It was uh, Black Magic. They changed the name of the VAE and it broke all the links. So hopefully that doesn't happen regardless. Okay. Save it. So first things first. Um, if you wanted to get it from the GitHub, it's DJZ Workflow, Stoda SD35 or 3.5 pack. And then you go into text to images and there's all of the workflows from the first release. Obviously, I'll be doing further releases for image to image and whatever else comes out at a later date. Save it. Save it. Uh, do, 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 do. Right. And now let's take a quick look at these. So I'm not going to run them because I've already run them. This is the basic version. As you can see, it's got the 3.5 large with the Clip L and the Clip G and the T5X XL in FP8. We're using the test prompt. There is no negative prompt. Um, this is like your bare bones. I've got my aspect size. SDXL is 1024 by 1024, so that'll match. Save it. It's going into an SD3 latent image. We're using EULA, SGM Uniform, 20 steps on 5.5 CFG. These are all defaults recommended, so we're just using the defaults. We'll look at tuning later. I've also put my project file path generator in, so you can just have your uh, custom subfolders to organize your files a bit better. Save it. Um, all right. So that's that one. Pretty simple, straightforward. Now, for the FP8 scaled version, as you can see, the clip is coming out. So if I just go back here, just to stress this, we've got a triple clip loader and a checkpoint. VAE comes off the checkpoint, always. Model, obviously, comes off the checkpoint. But the triple clip, you're going to get it from here, okay? And that allows us to sort of do this mix and match business. Whereas when it's fully baked in, everything is FP8. So you're going to be using the FP8 scaled for all of them, I think. Um, it's definitely for the T, save it, T5 XXL. Uh, for this version, I've added my Zenkai prompt. All right. And like I said, it's making some cool images already. So I'm happy with it. Obviously I want to experiment. I want to do a sampler garden for this model and find out what the best settings are. It may be that there are multiple best settings. It's a bit like looking at a Mandelbrot, you know, there's loads of places you can zoom into and they all kind of look good and the same. So I won't like split hairs over what we think it should be because each sampler has its own function and purpose and they, you know, they're all good for different things. So it's fine. Um, all right. So there we have that one. And I think this one is, as I say, being fed by my Zenkai prompt. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to move over to the large turbo version. And as you can see, it's the same prompt with the same seed usually. Um, and we're using the triple clip version for the large. Okay. Because obviously we need to change things like that. Save it. Come with clip in the model. You have to load it with the triple loader. All right, cool. Um, and then we get an image like this, which is pretty cool. That's a different seed now than what we looked at earlier. Save and it. then I decided to use my Black Sun V0 captions with the turbo model. Okay, and as you can see, we've got four steps and 1.2 CFG, which is what's recommended on the uh, on the uh, release page. Save it. And it gives us an interesting kind of anime. Save it. Which is fine. Um, Black Sun is an anime, but then maybe there was some anime tags in the captions. I don't know. I don't think there was, but hey, it's cool. It made a cool picture, so... And it is kind of Black Sun, you know, it's black armored sci-fi with sort of. So there's that one. And then going to the final one, we've got Simple Zenkai. So this is the FP8 for weights and clip, um, as far as I'm aware. Save it. For the T5X XL. Save it. It's the same as the one we looked at a minute ago with the addition of the Zenkai prompt. And I put Cyber Society on there just to see how it does. And it's not as sharp as Flux, is my initial assessment. Save right. it. But 
that doesn't mean we can't do loads of cool stuff with it. So we're going to be, this is going to be another main branch release. It's going to have a whole bunch of workflows coming out as things arrive. I'm obviously going to be scouring around today to try and see if there's anything which I can find. Image to image is going to be coming along the line, I would bet. And then possibly control nets, IP adapters, all that good stuff. I've already got a bunch of stuff which I want to show you with this model. Save it. Time allowing, we'll get there. So there we go. A nice, quick, snappy release for you guys. Um, here is the pack. Go ahead and download it. If you are a uh, Git puller, you can go ahead and update and you will just get the new pack um, in your download. Save it. And if you're unsure about how to run or install anything, I've written up this very detailed Save it. Um, guide for you, for you lot. So there it is. I think I've included everything you need to know. Save it. That's just about it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Save it.